guys, I'm finally happy to announce I have joined co-ops with Mini Clune. As you can see on the right of the screen, it says co-op, and and this is Mini Clune. Obviously, don't think it's a lie. Obviously, this isn't real. But Mini Clune did give me a video idea, and the only reason I would do the video idea is to get the Mythbuster item. Now, obviously, the Mythbuster item doesn't exist, but we can make it exist. You see, if Mini Clune gave me the idea, then he'll probably watch the video, and then he'll see the the whole Mythbuster item thing, and then bam, I get it. Easy. That's why I'm still doing this series. Actually, no, it's because you guys like it. These myth-busting videos keep getting weirder and weirder. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Let's get right into it. Leave a like if you want. You know, I think a good way to start myth-busting is how do we get this co-op sign? Because I'm not really in a co-op. Like, I have my alt Pickle, which is, you know, without the eye. And then I have Finlay, which I invited for him to build. And now he's not building because he's doing Minecraft Saturday. So I think that would be a good place to start. All right, we gotta, we gotta kick Finlay out. Kick player. Get him out. Yeah. Alright, I have my ult here. Um, I'm gonna leave. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I had to switch profiles, but if I just do this, and then I delete profile. Yes, I know. Here we go. Alright, the lemon profile was deleted. If I swap lobbies, it still says co-op. This is rigged. Why? It, I'm not in a co-op. I'm in a solo. If I even type my name, it's just me. So I came into this thinking that the co-op text would be removed because I'm not actually in a co-op with anyone, and it's just not gone. And I don't know why. So speaking of not losing text on the sidebar, what happens if you don't pick up an item at the dark auction? So you know how at the dark auction when you like, you win an item, you gotta claim it, and it's all fancy, it has this cool animation. But what if you don't claim it? What if you just leave it there, and then it sits there, and then you just watch it, while everyone else bids on a flower minion for 5 million coins? Well, I tested this a few days ago, and uh, here's what happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bid on it, but I'm not going to pick it up. If my inventory is full, I know it just goes to my stash. All right, they're going to leave, right? Oh, let's go. Okay. Honestly, yellow. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, man. If I lose the money. Why? This is the biggest waste of money of all time. All right. I'm not going to claim it. I don't know if it's just going to give me it. Oh, okay, so it's on the next menu, but it might open the menu forcefully. Okay, it hasn't changed the menu. Come on. No! It gave me the spirit mask. Oh. Oh, well, okay. That was really anticlimactic. Sometimes I think the Hypixel admin just want to force things along me. Like, I don't want to pick up the spirit mask, but I had to pick up the spirit mask. And I bid a million because some troll made me bid a million because they bid 840k. You know, I just want to get the co-op text gone. I'm not even a co-op. Can't even do that. And now I can't leave my spear mask in there, but it's probably a good thing. Someone's gonna buy like a 50 mil Midas sword, and then they won't pick it up, and then it just, it's gone forever. Now you might be wondering, Pickle, you should have seen what happens if your inventory is full, because would it just drop on the ground? Well, I didn't test this, because I was just told it goes into your stash, and if you just type slash pick up stash, your stash isn't holding an item. It's like a weird limbo place for items, I don't know. You know, maybe me keeping the spear mask was actually good, because in the recent update they added... They added this fashion shop, and if I go down here, you can buy these tuxedos from Saymore. As you can see, there's a cheap tuxedo, a fancy tuxedo, and elegant. They're all pretty expensive once you get to 20 million, but this one here is interesting because it sets your max health to 75, so that's whatever. So yeah, it sets your max health to 75, but if I go here and I type in spirit mask, you can see it sets your health to 100 when you're normally about to die. 100 is over 75. It's over the cap, right? So I figured I'm gonna try and break this and get over the health barrier, and it was kind of weird. I, I kind of died with 2.5 million coins, just watch, it's sad. So, you only get three pieces, you don't get the helmet, and coincidentally, a spirit mask is a helmet, right? So, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens, and we should be dead. Alright, we died, cool. So we're gonna put the spirit mask on and see if we can go over the health limit. And will we die, or will we be at 100 health? I literally didn't even take damage. I... Nothing happened. And I should have died there. So let's put like superior on or something where we have a ton of health and defense. Okay, so it actually works. It's so weird because your health doesn't go above 75, right? So if I go back to this cheap tuxedo set that I'm going to have to resell. What is my crit damage, by the way? I'm just curious. 335, 285. I like barely went up. Okay, so this next one is pretty weird. Can you actually place backpacks? And you may be thinking, take a cool. Of course you cannot place backpacks. And to that I say, you're, you're probably right. But well, we're gonna we're gonna try it anyways, because why not? I, I don't know. 
and it worked. I don't... Why did that work? This was not supposed to work. Okay, this is actually just a bugged backpack. I don't know how these things even exist, but you can just... You can place them anywhere. It's really weird. Like, what is this? Please explain. Why is this a thing? I don't get it. But can you place a backpack in a backpack? The biggest myth. Yes, you can. It's a bugged one. It's not actually a backpack. This just feels illegal. This feels wrong. Oh, by the way, this guy provided it. Shout out to him. Okay, so this next one is what happens when you trade someone and then you decline the trade, but your inventory is full. So right now, I have a bunch of stone bricks. I'm going to trade this person, and then Wax Muffin's going to drop me a bunch of boats. All right, here we go. And then let's hope they throw a bunch of boats in a split second. Oh, you can't even pick up items when you're in a trade. Oh, I just realized that. I didn't know that was an actual thing. I'm like, why are they not... Why are they not filling my inventory with boats and then they leave and then all of a sudden I have a bunch of boats in my inventory. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't do another pre-recorded clip from several days ago or from someone else, but this one's too good. So, what happens if you're bidding in the dark auction and you just keep bidding? Like, what's the limit on bidding? If you have 500 million and you're bidding on a Midas, can, is there a limit? Is there not? How high can you go? Now, I personally got myself up to like 85 million just because I was trying to see if people would leave if I stalled out the dark auction for 20 minutes. But, people didn't really leave. And also, people have done way higher bids for no reason than leave at the end. So, here are some of the highest ones I've seen. I'm not really sure if you can go any higher or not, but that's the highest I've seen so far. So, yeah. Apparently, there is no limit and there's just like a formula. So, you could, in theory, calculate the max, but I don't know. Okay, so I have this incomplete portal room here. If I go through the, uh, the jungle island portal. You know, I think I just go to the jungle island. But instead, I go to the dark thicket, and I don't know why. Okay, so down here, we have uh, this wood racing thing. So basically, you have to use an aspect of the end and go as fast as you can to get to the checkpoint. And then go all the way back. That's what all the new people do if they want to get good timing. So what if you can pre-ender pearl so that you go here, you instantly teleport there, and then you teleport back here? Is it possible? I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, let's throw a pearl. And we gotta go as fast as we possibly can. And then, you can't travel over there using ender pearls. You know, maybe it's bugged. Maybe we can go this way. And then we can go all the way back. And then a grappling hook breaks. And and maybe we'll teleport back? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, so I have this uh, AOTE, negative 18 intelligence, and negative 99 intelligence. If I go in a new profile, I'll have 100. So, minus 99 is 1, and then minus 18 is negative 17. So, we're going to test this endstone sword. Basically, consumes your mana to grant more damage on the next tip. But what if you're negative mana? Will you do less damage? I don't know. We'll find out. It's gonna be weird. Alright, we're just getting all the items back now. There we go. Okay, so if I put this on, and then I type slash warp hub, we have 17. It's supposed to be negative 18. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe if I swap, and then go to it, it adds? That's supposed to remove mana. What is this? This is rigged. They completely fixed it. Maybe if I get the perfect timing. Dang, you really can't do it anymore. You know, every time there's a negative, you have to turn it into a positive. And that one is that if the admins fix negative mana, they clearly got it from my video and definitely not a bug report on the forums. So that means they saw the Mythbuster item. And it's probably in the game already. They just got to give it to me. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's a joke. All right, we're going we're gonna to switch things up a little bit. All right, we need a few things here for this next one. Perfect. Bam. 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 Leads. Nice. I'm gonna let you guys guess what I'm doing for this one. We just gotta kill a few wolves. You know, not a lot. Alright, we have a plan here. Bring you. And then bring you. Alright, we're gonna bring these guys to the very spawn. I don't even know if this will work. Oh, this guy's got a power orb. 260? Okay. Yes, follow me. I'm gonna feel so bad if this works. Yeah, die. We have a bu- Oh. Oh, I just- it has instantly failed. I may or may not have attempted to... Yes. Bro, I thought it was like a spawn and just kill all the auction people. Like, I know you can't bring it to spawn. But what if you just spawn it in spawn? Or the village? I don't know, man. Okay, so apparently down here there's an NPC and I need this NPC because... I gotta buy something or at least show it off. Okay, so this shaman sells a book called True Protection, which I'm gonna be using in my next video for something pretty cool. Okay, so I don't really have any more myths to test. Now, there are a few I could do, like, can you put True Protection and Protection on the same armor piece? And you can. That is, if it's chest plates. Anyways, my next video was actually a video idea by a Hypixel admin, so 
stay tuned for that. I have a plan to get the Mythbuster. It's kind of obvious if you think about it for a few seconds.